You're making some of the best fake money I've ever seen. She literally launders her money in her dryer. Gross. Well, my ladies, if you want NBC cancelled Good Girls on June 25, 2021, after four seasons. The comedy drama, which stars Christina Hendricks, Retta and Mae Whitman as three friends who turn to a life of crime to increase their bank balances, in late May, it was rumored that NBC had unofficially signed off on a plan to renew Good Girls for a shortened fifth and final season, one that would give fans closure. All three of the series' leading actors, Christina Hendricks, Mae Whitman and Retta, agreed to take pay cuts to return for the reduced eight-episode final season. Production was supposed to begin in spring 2022, so why was Good Girls cancelled? One month after this said agreement was considered a done deal, Good Girls was cancelled. As is often the case, the main reason was said to be money. But according to multiple sources there were other factors that contributed to the decision not to bring the show back for another season. A Good Girls insider who requested anonymity, said that the series' path to renewal hit a major turn in mid-June when negotiations with co-star Manny Montana, who plays fan-favorite gang member, hit a wall. At issue was money and scheduling. It is also rumored that Montana has a strained working relationship with a co-star which makes him less willing to take a pay cut. The studio's willingness to forego a fifth and final season of a show called Good Girls, due to the absence of a supporting male character, struck some as ironic. And suspicious. Three weeks prior to the premiere of its fourth season, Nielsen's streaming rankings had noted that The Crime Caper was the most watched piece of content on Netflix in the States. It went on to explain that while the on-air viewership was modest, Good Girls had gained significant ground in delayed viewing and in-season streaming on digital platform. But the decline in NBC's ratings is undeniable. Season 2's viewer average sat at 2.3 million, with Season 4 dropping to 1.5 so far. The digital figures might be healthy, but that is of no comfort to NBC's advertising partnerships, which so often dictates what shows get a green light. Good Girls currently has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 87%, and a IMDb 7.8 score. There was some hope that Netflix would take it on, but that didn't materialize and Universal Television will not be taking it to market, which means Good Girls really has reached the end of the road. Don't forget to like this video if you appreciate receiving this news, subscribe if you would like to be updated on which television shows are being renewed or cancelled. Feel free to comment how you feel about the TV show and this news. Thank you for watching.